All right, guys, we are back for round two. Will Mydell here again for the Creative Core, and this is part two of the editorial magazine layout design. So in this video, we'll be deciding what we will be choosing for our editorial cover, all right? Not for the front of the magazine, but the um, choice selection we're gonna use for the editorial we're working on. All right, so let's jump straight in and pick off where we left off, okay. Let's get it started. I just got through bench watching a bunch of uh, MKX tournament uh, fights on you uh, on YouTube. I'm always working. I never have a chance to play video games, so it's always fun to watch these guys uh, fight. Which is why I started off by round two. I love Killer Instinct uh, also, and guys are like Ultra. Man, that used to be the funnest game, arcade game, like when I was in high school, man. You can hear that, you can hear that game walking, as soon as you walk in the arcade, you can hear it all the way from the other side of the arcade, man. You can just hear, Ultra! You're like, yep. <laughs> that game's plugged in. You hear that over every little, bing, bing, ding, 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 you, you hear that over every game. All right, uh, off on the binge again. Why do I always do, do this to myself? Okay. So, picking the editorial deciding image. All right, so let's take a look at these images, all right? Kind of give a, uh, I mean, each editor for a magazine is gonna have their taste and their likes of what they want. <laughs> Me personally, I like to look at what catches my eye, what would look cool with uh, some some cool font either next to it on a blank page which would be like this right here but if I have no choice and I can't put the font on a picture and you know you want to put the font on a page right next to it I mean some people I've seen some editors matter of fact let me just pull down alt shift and let me just bring this over right here right quick and bring it on. I know some guys will just put their their font right on top of the image I've done this a couple of times I rarely do it I really don't like to do it um, I'm a, a big person on the images and I like them to be seen well I mean that's if, if it's a portrait yeah but if it's like landscape, I'm all for it. Uh, that type of choice selection, you have to kind of get inspiration from by reading magazines. I, I read a lot of uh, uh, fashion magazines, beauty magazines, not just like current, but I like to look at uh, older magazines uh, from the 90s, 2000s to see how they've been doing it You know, in the past. I would actually prefer to, to look at those first before I look at magazines now, because I don't want to come off as like um, I'm copying or mimicking somebody. Um, I always like to go to the past. I'm a big person on history to see how things were done in history and then get inspiration from that to uh, try to develop my own style. Uh, so if I were to do this on a portrait, this is kind of what this would look like. which is cool or whatever. But um, back to picking the image. First, I would, this is what I would do. First, I would look at the images that I like for, for um, the cover. I already told you guys in the last video, I said, I like this one. This one stands out to me. It just screams, hello, welcome to this editorial and be prepared to look at the next five or six images this photographer shot. And it might be an interview also, you know, inside of this also. So, uh, you know, which in some scenarios we do do interviews and it might be an image like this and another image. 
and this image might not be here it might just be words right here you know uh, an interview with questions and answers or it might be on this actual image it just depends on if I were to do that I would do that on you know images like this because this is this is a perfect example of uh, an interview image because what the models all the way to the far right so if I want to just bring uh, oh, going too fast questions and answers over here and this would look nice because there's space for it you know it just be questions like going straight down the side now I might have to darken this because of the background or I would uh, maybe put like a box like right here and make it black and I would probably like gradient it out like that do something like this feather it in and let me make this CMYK black so it doesn't look all RGB on me there we go and drop the opacity that way that's I mean depending on the background some some images you won't have to do that but you see how that looks like if I were to do an interview I would do it on an image like that. And also, like, what's that image we saw, we were talking about earlier? This one? This is another prime example. Let me scoop this over here. Copy this, paste this. I know I'm moving fast, but I'm not teaching you guys how to do this in this tutorial. I'm just giving you examples. I can show you that later. Um, there we go. Boom, questions like that. Now that would be a prime. Now I won't be too pissed. I won't say pissed, I don't get pissed. But I won't be all like, oh, I really want, I could use that image for something else. Uh, for images, you know, for a model all the way far left and she's not in the middle, you know. This would be a great interview um, image. Or image to use for uh, putting uh, interview questions on top of. Look, that looks great. Maybe take some of this out. Need all that. And squeeze it in some. Take some more out. There we go. All right. Done with that example. Let's get back to what we were doing. Picking the images I like. So yes, this one screams. Hello. I like this image. Another image I might would use would probably be, uh, no, no, I just don't like her eyes on this one. It looks like one eye is like closed. You see that? Like this one is like open way more and this one's like kind of closed in. I wouldn't really use that. I mean, I could go in Photoshop right quick and edit it, but that's not my job. You know, I've done that a couple of times also on editorials that I'll get some stuff in and I'm like, why didn't they edit this a little better? You know, I understand some people are rushing or uh, they have things to do. The worst are the ones that say in the credits, retouch her by this. And I'm like, okay, what did they retouch? Because I find myself doing the retouching. All right, so I'm not gonna use this. You know, it's just, it's a good shot but not for a cover. Like I said, the, the front cover needs to scream, you know, it's, it's supposed to be setting the tone for all the rest of the images. So th these two yellow ones are out. This one is out also. This looks nice. Last resort, if I had nothing else, I would probably use that. This would be cool, but I, I just don't like her eyes. I don't. You know, it, it's personal preference, but I mean, if if you look at her eyes, it just kind of like, kind of just takes it away, you know. Just, you know, it, it, it's not working for me. Same with this one. I mean, she's not looking directly at you, so it's not welcoming, you know, so I wouldn't put that on the front. 
And same as this one also, she's looking down. So the only two I would probably use is this one and this one. But, oh wow, that's the same dress, I didn't notice that. Yeah, so I think it's gonna be this one. So let's move that up. All right. So she's all the way at the end. Remember I said that? I said, you know what? I said, this one might be at the end. You never know. I said that in a video, didn't I? All right, so let's grab this one and move her up to the front. She's gonna be our our front cover. And let's delete these, because it's annoying, facing it. You know, this is a good spot for advertisements also. All right, so this is gonna be our, our front. And let me grab this white since we have a dark background. Now that I have her and I know that she's gonna be my front cover, I can make adjustments on the rest of the images before I even start working on the um, the title and the credits. So seeing that she has the same outfit in this shot, where is that, right here, I'm gonna put that next to that, all right? So where is she? She is right here. So let me drag that up. And move this. I'm gonna slide that over and I'm gonna slide this over. And while I'm at it, let's go ahead and adjust the transparencies on all these and put in an overlay. Because all these have the same backdrop and I'm probably gonna use a white header and footer for them. So let's go ahead and do that. Boom, boom. Drop that white in there, right there. All right, so we got a dress with uh, pink fluffy little sleeves there. All right, then we're going into a green, then we got a yellow, yellow, we got a tiger jacket, and we got this right here. So, let's see what we could do. We can do, this green looks like a good image just to be last. You know what, let me bring her down here. And let me move this chick, since this dress kind of stands out, I like the purse or handbag. There we go. All right, so we go boom. We got page two, we got page three. And we adjust the overlay on this transparency. Boom. All right, so we got paint, paint, colorful dress. Then we can go, what's setting the tone? What's setting the tone? We got a sexy look sitting on the couch with our shoes. I like, it's, it's almost like telling a story also. And that's kind of how I do my layouts. It's, it's just like storytelling. You know, that's part of my commercial photography side of me. Um, when it comes to doing commercial uh, photo composites with like Photoshop, you know, it's like telling a story, you know, from image to image to image, you want it to kind of like play out. Some photographers and stylists are good at that. I'll get an imagery in and I don't even have to do this. I know exactly how to lay it out. By the way, they send it to me in their folder. They'll say image one, two, three, four, four, five, six. Now I might make an adjustment between one and two, but if they're really good and they're experienced, they've been doing this as long as me, I'll be like, oh, okay. Boom, 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 boom. And I'll go straight to working on the title and the credits because they've told the story to me the way they they envisioned it. And they expected us to, you know, not only respect their vision, but to see their vision also as as creatives. You know, we should pick up on it. Okay, I should be able to sit back and go, like, okay, I see exactly what they're doing. And I'm going with it. You know, sometimes you have to make adjustments. Like when she sent me her images, let's see how these were numbered. Or he. I haven't looked at the credits yet. So it started off with this yellow, then it goes into the green, and, and then you see how this lays out. So some people will just send you stuff and don't, you know, label it, you know, like one, two, three, four, five, or eight, A, B, C, or image going from here to here. Matter of fact, let's take a look at these credits right quick. Maybe they did it in the credits, I don't know. All right, we got Richard, photography, hair, makeup, the model, the model's agencies. So they're out of San Francisco, the clothing, style by. All right, images. So the way they laid the images is starting off with 7634. 
where is that 76 the first image so, okay so they is, is the second one 7841 yeah so this person thought they either they either thought that you know what i want the editorial to start off looking like this in my mind i'm thinking if they were published in the magazine before they probably thought that oh we're going to start this mag we want to start our editorial off with this no because this is not a good image to even if i was to pick this image it would have that image wouldn't be on the left it would probably be on the right and then the credits over here or it would be the same situation i showed you guys earlier we copy this and i would have to put the credits on top top of this image that's the only way this would look good is if i did it like that now that looks like an editorial title worst case scenario if that was my best image out of all six or seven of those images sent in let's see one two three four five six seven seven images and that was the best one out of all of them i had to use that yellow uh dress that's how i would have laid that out i'd put the credits just like this what's the name of this editorial it is called gucci revolution so if i want to do something like this the word is hella long There you go. So you want to play around. So we, we'll get into the titles next. See, I like how that C is by her, her hand. And I will probably put the C behind her hand. You guys are like, how do you do that? You do, you, do you go in Photoshop? Do, no, you can do that in here. I'll show you. But we're not using that image. We're going to use this one. And since we're using this one, Revolution will play out nicer seeing that the landscape is longer and I can stretch this out. Kind of like how I did in <laughs> Mortal Kombat. Let's go to Instagram right quick and show you an image I did for the last uh, issue, which would be Top Mother. You see, I stretched that out across that whole image. A lot of people commented on that also. And they're like, man, I love how you designed that. Posted that one three days ago. But seeing that, you know, the chick is sitting in the chair and she's gonna be stressed out, I'm probably gonna do something kind of similar to that with Revolution. So let's bring that in. Uh, I'll show you that on the next video. Let's go ahead and um, adjust the layouts. One thing at a time, people, one thing at a time. All right, so we got her in the chair, same dress, green dress. Next, like I said, we're telling a story. So do I want to go from green to yellow? Let me see. She's in glasses. She's standing. She's standing. Do I want to go to yellow or do I want to take her and have her go flight? You know what? I think I want to keep her going flight at the end to kind of, you know, end it out. So I think I'm going to bring this dress up. So we're going to go from dress to dress to dress. To laying with the funny eyes to this dress to her flying let me slide her up even though both of her are excuse me positioned on the left Cause I don't want, cause it's either gonna go one or two ways. I'm either gonna have to bring her down and, uh, or, or let's, let's try this. Let's try this. Okay. Let's just move her out the way. Let's move her to the right. Let's slide this up and let's bring her in. Ah, oh, it still looks funky. Oh no, I don't like that. I 
don't like that. No, I don't. The position in these images are like. Now, if I were to do this, one on the left, one on the right, like I say, a rule of thirds is really big with me because I'm a photographer also. So positioning is everything. Yeah, it's, neither one of those are playing out well. So we're gonna have to go from this dress to this, and then, you know, what if I just left that out? See, I almost like that. It ain't going into this, and then just go to another, edit, the next person that sent me some work, you know? Mm. But I don't want to leave this image out because this is a good shot. So we're going to have to make this work. And she's going to have to go right here because it needs to go with this dress. So let's try something. Let's shrink this in. That whole arm is just, I wish I could just decapitate that arm. You know what? Let's do this. That's it's probably gonna be the solution. And let's start her in flight. Let's try this first. Cut off her legs some. Um, Kind of give us a nice. You know, let's bring this up a little more like that. Bring this out. Bring this a little more. And. I think I'm gonna go with that for now. At the end of the day, she this this girl this image is gonna be placed right here. Whether or not I'm gonna crop it like that will be a decision for later, but she is gonna go right there. And it's gonna lead into this, which is gonna end off with that, okay? Which is just like blah to me. Okay. What if I flip her around? I don't know. She's just standing there like... Which is cool. I mean, if... Man, I just wish she was standing in the middle. I, and I, I wouldn't have to crop. This is what I have to deal with as an editor. The funny thing is I get emails all the time. When is the issue coming out? When is the issue coming out? When is the issue coming out? And people think this is just like a click of a button. You know, like the commercial, what was that, Target? That little red button people just push down and it's like, oh, it's done, there's your issue. No. It takes time to create good things. Now I could just slap all these images in and just put the credits on it and be done with it. But seeing that we are trendsetters and we're trying to create something different, uh, I don't say different. I mean, it, it's not like, you know, it's new, but you want to stand out. You want your brand to uh, uh, be in the same boat as the elite. You know, when I, when I work on my issues, I want my work to look just as good as L or Vogue or Numero, GQ. You know, I don't want I don't want my work to look mediocre, and that's why people around the world send us work, and we we publish work that looks this good because we set a tone, which goes back to what we're doing now, setting tone. You know, I would rather take time and rack my brain for hours trying to 
make something look like a piece of art than just throwing something out there and exporting it into a PDF or a JPEG, throwing it online, but like, okay, we're done. You know, just to say we did it, you know, that's lame, you know, to me. You know, uh, put some time into it, you know, it'll pay off. You know, I, I see some magazine, man, they'll they publish issues like back to back, back to back, you know, within like weeks, you know, because people are just emailing them images and they're just like, oh, we know we could just go on Photoshop or whatever and just throw something. Mm -hmm. Cause I know they're not in, in design. A lot of people don't, they're scared to even get in this program. They'd rather just go on Photoshop and just do something real quick. And, uh, and it's done. And it looks just like everything else out there, you know? So, I mean, you're getting a lot of followers because you know, it's, it's a bunch of, you know, uh, micro microwavable content but will it pay off in the long run? Especially if everyone's out there trying to start, you know, their own magazine, whether it be for, you know, fashion, hair, beauty, you know, sports, music. You know, a lot of people want to, but they don't have the know-how, you know? So that's what I'm kind of trying to teach you guys now. So, we got our layout, all right? Next video, we're gonna work on the titles, okay? This is looking good. I like this. You got sitting in a chair, going into this. This is still kind of funky right here. We're gonna work on that. They're flying out. Or, no, nah, I'm not gonna do that. I was gonna say put her on this page, kind of like, uh, let me just copy and paste this. Kind of like that. That could be cool. I don't know. Maybe. I like that. Or let's see how it looks on this side. Because I don't want to cut off her face. How's it gonna look once her arm is cut off? Nah. That would be nice though. I kind of like that if her arm wasn't cut off though. Let me bring her in some more. I don't know. Kind of makes me wonder also why did he send two pictures with the same pose like if she's going to be in the same outfit why not have her pose differently you know it's the same pose she could have like stood straight forward or did something else that's why it kind of makes me want to just like ditch one of these images right here and go with the best like maybe go with this one and take this one off and it'll save me a page. I don't know, I'll think about it. All right, so, guys, come back, check out the third video where we're gonna be working on the title, Gucci Revolution. Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang. Little pump version. Oh, the Gucci version. I don't know. All right. Go subscribe to my Instagram, Will Mydell and Mr. Mydell in all the Seven Hues divisions. Seven Hues Mag, Beauty, Owns, Hair, Noir, Gucci Gang. All right, I'll see you guys back for the third video.